How hot does my blow dryer get? Will it melt a brush? Will it melt this brush? Will it melt a hair? I've got my infrared thermometer. I was just curious as how hot this would get with the concentrator nozzle, without the concentrator nozzle, and what I can melt with it. The reason I chose this Qi dryer is because it has this silver blue light nanotechnology. Check this out. The little blue light inside of this is a perfect target that I can point my thermometer at so that I can get an accurate reading. This is called Cinefoil. It's a matte black foil for lighting, but it's a little floppy, so I'm gonna wrap up a balayage board in it and we're gonna get right to measuring. So just to start out, the temperature of my foil, 73.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 23.2 degrees Celsius. Let's see how hot we can get at this distance. I don't know if you can see my blue light. It looks like we've kind of maxed out at 210.7 degrees Fahrenheit at approximately this distance. What if I hold it really close? 231.6. So from here to here, we had a 20 degree rise, 20 degree Fahrenheit rise. That's pretty significant. Even 230 degrees. I'm pretty surprised how cool that is. I thought that this would get hotter. Let's check our temperatures with the concentrator nozzle, both from about a hand's breadth away, my hand, and super close. So it looks like I really maxed out at 231 again. Let's see if we can melt anything. Ew. This brush is old. It was one of my favorites for years. Now it's been stuck in a drawer and it's off gassing. So it's going in the trash anyway. I wonder if I can melt these bristles. Oh, finally a little result. I did actually manage to melt some nylon bristles. What about boar bristles? Boar bristles are actual hairs from a boar. Often different colors on a brush indicate different stiffnesses. Let's check our melting points. Yep, melted them. Ugh. It smells like burning hair. Should I do it? How long is it gonna take? to melt Deborah's hair. I don't know how long that was. That felt like forever. I still didn't melt her hair. Human hair is pretty darn resilient. A lot more resilient, apparently, than these nylon and boar bristles. So even though I wasn't able to melt her hair, we did discover that the surface that the blow dryer is concentrated on can get over 200 degrees. Now let's bear in mind that you can get a third degree burn with five seconds exposure to 150 degree water. 140 degree water can give you a third degree burn with six seconds of exposure. This got easily 200 degrees, 210 with either the nozzle or without the nozzle. If it takes five seconds of exposure to get third degree burns, at 150 degrees, how fast do you think you could get third degree burns at 200 degrees? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to say that though hair is resilient, skin, not so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you wanna see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you wanna hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.